this is the place you call home. You wake up surprised you did every morning. You sit up in the bed, stretch and begin yawning. Check your phone to see your messages and who's been calling. Then once you're disappointment, go to the window to see how the rain outside's pouring. How boring. You relive the same episode. Feet walking the same pace and tempo like a metronome. You have the same conversation with a man at the bus stop telling him your dreams of fucking leaving this shit and fleeing to Mexico. While standing in the pouring rain just in your big fucking winter jacket like an Eskimo. You know, depression is not the obsession of suppressing aggression caused by your confession of indiscretion with a stranger happy face expression. It's caused by the place you call home. A place where the kids are forced to survive on their own because they can't get in contact with their father on the phone. Meanwhile, you thought it was the shag. Ran away when she showed you those two red flags and now it's passing down generations. So for the kids, the new fashion is a baby bump to match their tickets and just do it back. So this is the place you call home. Do you ever wonder what they would say to you if they got to see that pathetic face of yours? How you provided a conversation of nothingness, an absence of existence, the constant persistence of fear and cowardly resistance. Empty promises drenched in hypocritical lyrics, games and gimmicks of emergency rooms and clinics that you were never there for. You were the athlete that never stopped running. How you were nothing more than just a sperm donor, a worthless dog or a fucking boner, a guy that's probably dead or in a fucking coma, who knows? You chose to play hide and seek and since then you haven't whined or squeaked, divide, multiply and minus each appearance arrival plus the lies you preached. Telling her everything could be fine, now your time's impeached, your daughter's dad's voice is the answer machine when she calls cause your line can't be reached. I think you just vomited all over yourself. And now you're sitting there seeing spaghetti letters of X and O's and using eyes thinking, if it was hugs and kisses and you and I that were missing, why did I make rash decisions instead of just sit and listen? You planted a seed of wrongful intentions, a fatherless offspring conceived in the womb of a woman craving a life of apprehension. So this is the place you call home. You turn the TV off when you see a rom-com because you can't stand to see the happiness of someone that for you is long gone. You lived in a mindset where you thought abortion was a new condom, but now it's gone wrong. The only warmth you have left in your body is from wearing your long johns. You know, you used to be the guy, the winner, now you can't even look people in the eye, let alone yourself in the mirror. At night you cry and quiver knowing that you were nothing more than just a worthless spinal shiver. You know, why don't you just go over there right now, huh? You coward, you fucking selfish piece of shit, you fucking prick. Stupid dog with a fucking dick, Mr. Hit and Run, Mr. Homeless Bun, Mr. Oh, oh, I'm about to come, Mr. Invisible, King of the Mythical, who has a child, but that's dismissible, you typical, fictional, two syllable, non visual, non fixable, unforgivable. So, this is the place you call home. On my days, where have you been? I'm sorry. I'm worried, sit, now what? How did your job interview go? I got the job! No way! <laughs> oh my god! Well done. Uh, tell me how it went. Oh, well, when I went there, I was so mad. Well, so, this is the place you call. Devon! Is that you, Devon? Devon, come back here right now! Your kid needs you, Devon! He needs you! Get back here! 